Well, welcome to Grow with Angie. I'm Angie and I am going to review the Moissanland Green Bean Sprouting Machine. Now, some of you who have subscribed to the channel say, Angie, you did this six months ago. Well, that video had some success and had some failures. And thanks to you, your comments and questions here on YouTube, as well as my Facebook group, Grow with Angie, I think I have some success. I recorded the last four days of the setup and the process, as well as comparing it to sprouting mung beans inside of a sprouting jar, which is one of my favorite ways to do it. And at the end of the video, we're gonna harvest this together because I have not taken anything out and I'm so excited to see what's inside. Hold on your hats, let's get to growing some mung beans together. I have been using this jar to sprout my mung beans. The difference with this is there is no blackout. It is always in the light or you can put it in the sun to make them brighten up. This one actually does recommend that you cover it and so I'm gonna be using this this time around to see how well that works and it does make it quite dark inside. I'm using these seeds from Patriot Seeds. I measured them out with my little food scale and I did two ounces of the mung beans, so I'm trying not to use too many. And then I put them in this jar and I let them sit for about eight hours and actually soaked the beans to begin with, even though this kind of takes it through a soaking process. Then I laid the beans out on this tray and tried to keep them as even as possible. And we'll go ahead and put this together by adding the top. Then I'm gonna drop the beans down as gently as possible. And then instead of doing two trays, I'm actually just going to use this tray as its own weight. And then I'm gonna put this on top. Now on the front of this machine, it has different settings of winter, spring and fall or summer. And those settings are based on the temperature of your house. And even though we are in winter, we do run the wood stove and the winter mode of this will actually heat the water a little bit. And I don't necessarily need that. So I'm gonna run it with the spring and fall. All right, now it's plugged in and it's going to moisten the seeds down below. This will run about 30 seconds and then it will shut off. But we'll go ahead and put the top on and we're going to keep it in its all darkness and we will check it tomorrow. All right, we are 21 hours in and they are looking really good. I'm so excited. There is a little humidity feel down in here, which is awesome. And there they are. Friendly reminder to make sure you are unplugging it and changing out the water at least once a day. And I wanted to show you what's going on underneath. We've got some pretty amazing roots going on down here. So I'm gonna put that back together like that. And when you take it apart or pull the top off like that to change the water, you're gonna be pulling out your piping and your sprinkler head. And let's take a peek. So this is our growth on day three. And you can see we're starting to get some really good beans popping up on here and there are some roots that are not finding their way down, but that's all right. The majority of them are, and they're looking very happy. When you plug this back in, the timer will automatically pick up where it left off. So you just have to be gentle to push that back through, make sure you're not hitting any of the beans. Reattach your little sprinkler head. So we're gonna plug it in and keep going. We are at 72 hours and they're doing really good. They're super tall. You can see how much it's pushed this tray up. It's almost to the top of the sprinkler. 
and I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek. I can only lift it up so far. There we go. And I think probably tomorrow, I'm gonna pull this all out and we will harvest it. And you guys will be able to see the finished product, but I'm really happy with this now that I didn't like in the first video. And I think having good mung beans, actual sprouting beans has helped and just really following the advice that a lot of you guys have given me. So, all right, here's to tomorrow. Okay, here we are four days later, four days. First, I wanna show you what was going on with my bean sprouting jar. Now, I have done a video review of this as well, and I still love this. I think it's beautiful. I love how it sprouts the little beans, and I do have a towel in case of dripping, and it is very cute and adorable, and the beans are really, really nice. I think what we're gonna get out of this is gonna be great for recipes. I don't know, let's see, are you ready? Okay, obviously it's unplugged, so the sprinkler head isn't gonna kick on anymore. We're gonna remove the sprinkler head, get the water out of it. We're gonna remove this top tray. This is so amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the little spout out the middle. And then I really don't know, you guys. Um, so I know there's, going to be a ton of roots underneath. Now to get this other tray out of here, I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of slightly pull on them. There's really nowhere for me to grab it. I think, oh, there we go. And it loosened. Look at these mung beans. This is so different than this. I mean, this has been really my preference for growing beans and adding to salads and that type of thing. This is what you would see if you're purchasing them in a can. And see how they're all yellow? This is because there was no photosynthesis with the light. There was nothing to turn them green. And I'm gonna go ahead and just move them over. And yeah, everything came out of there just perfect. Okay, I grabbed myself a bowl real quick and I'm just gonna go in and I, let me grab a couple first and see what happens with the roots. Yeah, they're bringing the roots up. So I think trimming them will probably be the easiest way to get them out. So then you don't have to do this. It smells like gardening. And when I am in really still the middle of winter, it is the beginning of March and Michigan still has snow. Uh, my backyard is still covered in snow, but this just makes me happy because, you know, after a while you just get really, really tired of winter. And then guess what I'm gonna do with this, if you guys can guess. This is going to the chickens because this girl doesn't waste anything. Okay, so here is the comparison. This is what we just pulled out of the bean sprouting machine. They are amazing. So you can see, definitely time-wise, I could let these go a little bit more. Usually I go probably about five to seven days, around a week, where these only took four days. And you can see a significant difference in their growth and I just can't stop eating them. So if you liked this video, please give a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, and we'll see you on the next episode of Grow with Angie.